Hey, happy Friday. Today we are going to talk about good news in New York and bad news in California. Before we get into those two stories, a little update on the California making a lot of money story that I did a couple days ago. Um, so I was saying that that was their tax revenue. It's to be more clear, it's the excise tax that had reached 817 million. So they had already reached that. Oh, they've surpassed a billion in sales tax, but the excise tax, which is a different kind of tax, basically, that you find on gasoline or cigarettes, very specific products, that uh, that reached 817 million. And then I asked at some point where exactly all of this money is going to. And there's a nice little article on Leafly that kind of talks about so broadly the money goes 60% of the money goes to youth anti-drug programs 20% goes to the environment and another 20% goes to public safety grants so that's a very vague way of doing it but they then break it down even more so in the fiscal year of 2019 to 2020 they have a little breakdown here how it's being spent uh, the bulk of it 140 million um, and they had reached a billion dollars in sales tax that year. So 140 million of that went to 11,000 low income children in childcare. So, and then, and then, you know, there's, there's a lot more where that came from, but it does seem like it's going to the right places. It seems like they're using it wisely and this is all great to hear, but let's stay in California because the first story that we have is an unfortunate one where the psychedelics bill that uh, was going to legalize psychedelics in the state is being pushed back to next year. And it's mainly because it doesn't seem like there was just enough support there. It was getting pushed around. It was passing a whole bunch of assemblies. It got, it went back to the, it, it was reread in front of the full assembly. Then yesterday, the, the sponsor of the bill, Scott Weiner, uh, decided to make it a two year bill, which is the technical term for it, meaning that it will be basically shelved for the rest of this year and then come back out next year and go through the process again. What that does is it gives people more time to kind of allow the bill to soak into their thought processes. He says himself here, here's the here's a tweet that he said that it went way further than he anticipated, which I guess is a good way of looking at it because it was a very new thing for a lot of these politicians to probably even grapple with, like the idea of, of legal psychedelics. It does indeed seem like it'll have a better chance next year, if anything, because uh, it, they're not having to re they're not having to introduce the idea to the people. It's already going to be there. Um, they'll have months to kind of let it soak in and it won't be this like crazy thing that they can just balk at and um, think that it's a wild proposition. It won't be so wild when they've had months of, of uh, hearing the benefits of this thing and, and showing what it can do to kind of combat the decades of war on drugs problems we've been dealing with. So it's, it's unfortunate news because we're not getting it this year, but it has made a whole lot of leeway and we'll, we'll almost certainly get it next year. Then let's jump to the other coast where New York, we uh, have seen a new governor kind of just jump into the shoes of Governor Cuomo. And the main question we had is, what is she going to do with the marijuana situation in the state? As a short recap, marijuana is legal in the state. However, there is no dispensaries open or, any, or anywhere close to being open because a committee has not been assigned yet. And Cuomo was really kind of dragging his feet in the whole thing. But we have heard now from uh, Kathy Holchul I really would like to know how to pronounce her name. Hochul? Hochul? It's got to be Hochul. Anyway, she has said through a spokesperson that uh, nominating and confirming individuals with diverse experiences and subject matter expertise who are representative of communities from across the state to the can Cannabis Control Board is a priority for Governor Ho Hochul which is great. That's exactly basically what we wanted to hear. And to really cement that point, uh, she ha has apparently been talking to the Senate Majority Leader and the Assembly Speaker, uh, the state Senate, and explicitly said that this is her priority, that she wants to get this done quickly. When a new government kind of takes charge or a new governor takes charge or wherever, 
there's always that that initial few days where so much gets done because there's so much anticipation and excitement and things before they kind of get back into normalizing and and things become a little bit more casual so hopefully we'll see this really pick up speed and it might get back on track where in the beginning we were thinking that uh the beginning of next year 2022 we'd start seeing dispensaries open after the slow rollout of everything it didn't seem like that was possible but maybe it will be now with governor holchul kind of stepping in the shoes and getting things done okay and that's what we have for the week we'll be back on monday with more stories see you then Hmm.